This is a smaller, tight-knit group of individuals that really represent the country. It doesn't matter what age you are, if you're willing to win, you're willing to put your best effort. It's not how hard you get hit. I ended up fracturing my thumb. They suspected that he had Crohn's. It's how hard you get hit and get knocked down and get up again. We don't take days off. That's right, strength, no weakness. Sky's kind of the limit. Get ready, because today we are taking a look at some of our future prodigies and bros. From fast feet on the court to impressive dunks, gear up. This is No Days Off. I think I'm probably one of the best, I gotta be honest. Like, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything. From Rubble into California, Colin Chin. Sometimes I do get frustrated, but I just gotta keep pushing. Tiger! Tiger! His skill set's extreme. He's thinking about stuff as if he was a college player or a pro. I'm calling, I'm 10, I play basketball. Three, two, one, time. He's very mature for his age. He's just a hooper, but we don't want to turn it into where it becomes a job or where he just stops loving it. He's only 10. Skill set wise, he's elite. Like if you put him in with a lot of pros, they can't do a lot of the things that, that he can do. Basketball is a sport selected out for height, so he has to do a lot of different things to close that height gap. We're working on his jump shot specifically all year. There we go. Good. We're looking at how we miss. Hold it. Better. It happened for me. People can't guard him because his handles are good. They start doing this. They're trying to jam him, put their hands on him. So he has to be able to not like shy away and instead be physical and attack these gaps. He's gotten a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger and we want to get him ready to be able to play like 12 or 13 U. So we're just working on a lot of his shooting, keeping his flow as far as like him being able to do a lot of the same movements that he already does, but comfortably so it's not like he's having to think about anything. We were in a gym, we always get there kind of early. Saw this guy, I walked up to him like, hey, I'm Colin's dad, and then started training. We would go up to practice, he would jump in with Colin. He always took really good care of Colin. Went for twice a week for about a year. Today is gonna be light stuff. We're gonna dynamic warm up first. We're gonna do some plows and some jumps. We're gonna do some light footwork stuff with the ladder. And then I'm gonna condition him a little bit with some sprints just to gas him out. Being on the concrete or on the hardwood, a lot of times there's a lot of impact on his joints and they're still growing. So we wanna try to mix it up. We try to limit a lot of the resistance, but no weights. He can get all of his strength literally from just various movements, especially in the sand. He has to work on his recovery. He has to get his feet out the sand. He can't get as much traction to take off. He's really good at this type of stuff, like athleticism stuff. He's small, so it's about building up more good, endurance, building up a little more strength. This stuff gives him confidence too when he goes on the court. Basketball is one of the most athletic sports, but it's a very reactive sport. So he has to be able to go from jumping, sliding, backpedaling into a sprint, into a jump, into things like that. This is kind of hard because you got someone pulling you, but you gotta be strong, you can't just give up. When he works out, he looks so much mature and he's thinking about stuff like as if he was a college player or a pro. You killed it, as always, right? But it's most importantly, the most important thing is always gonna be our body language, right? Our heart and our love for the game. Hey, hey, hey. We've seen how Colin trains in the gym. Up next, let's see how he still grinds at home. Colin worked hard in the gym. Now, let's see how he trains and has fun at home. So at home, Coach Cliff, he wants me to um, work on my jump shot and work on just like simple handles, even though it's like super easy for me. The best thing which you've seen in the videos is his footwork and his attention to detail. 
Basketball is love. He's so hard on himself, we aren't competitive, but we know it's a long, long process. Every day I usually shoot 200 shots, minimum. I want to get on a routine of just shooting and shooting and shooting and get better. Like what Coach Cliff told me, just he, I need to work on my shot this year, especially because I'm playing older kids. I just have to work. I don't care how many hours I put in. If I only have 30 minutes, I have to put all my heart into that 30 minutes to make it count. Because if it doesn't count, there's no point in even training. These are one of my favorite shoes. And these, Kevin Durant's, which are really cool because they're EYBLs too. I went to an All-American game, high school. And I got, I got this ball signed by like everyone. This year we got a phone call from Ford to put in two proposals. Colin designed one, I, des <laughs> I designed one, and uh, we let Ford choose who was better. Out of probably 1,500 Mustang proposals, they chose five. And uh, we got one of them. You, we were one of them. We worked with Honda, Hyundai, Ford and Chevy. And so this year, we decided to put in a proposal for two cars. One is a Hyundai Ioniq. We ended up coming up with a cool design and implementing Collins' logo and, uh, and also his basketball number. This takes about maybe two to three weeks of conceptual design, going back and forth between the two of us. I can say he's got pretty good taste. So I'm not too, I'm not too afraid to step outside the box. So look, these will be bolted to the side. Mm-hmm. And then they'll look like that. Alright. Cool. And then, Mr. and then after we can bolt them in. To the back. Chair. We're working on our SEMA cars. So we got to design two cars this year. Well, actually Colin got to design two cars this year. We did a Ionic for Hyundai and a 2019 Mustang for Ford. This car here, we both kind of helped each other with the car, with the design. And the best part is seeing your vision from a piece of paper come to reality. It's a full wrap by a company called Daily Visual out of Corona. On the front fenders, you'll see Colin's CT logo. I added this stripe down the middle to add some more orange to make it pop more. I think it looks a lot more brighter and more colorful. Thank you, sir. A lot of kids play a lot of basketball. We try not to burn them out. Kids get to maybe 13, 14, and they either completely quit or just burns them out. And that's always been our fear because he started so young. That bolt these in, and you'll be locked and loaded. I got really frustrated and it's like, I'm gonna take a little break from basketball and I actually just took a little break for like a month. And then put it like this. But now I'm back at basketball training, keep, keep working and stuff, so never give up no matter what. Well, I told Colin, you might be able to build cars and play basketball and make a really good living doing what you love. I've never missed one of his games. I'm at every practice. We have a special bond. Perfect. We get a lot of DMs and messages about him being an inspiration for other kids. One, he's Asian, which you don't see a lot of. It just is what it is. He's young, and then his work ethic. So for us, it's like, not only for him to get better, but as Coach Cliff said, show other people what's attainable if you put in the hard work. I don't compare usually myself to anyone. I just try to be the best that I could be. I'm very confident because I know I'm a hard worker and no matter what, I'll keep working and I feel really confident in myself. After a day of training and designing cars with Colin, it's time to head down the coast to San Diego to meet 14-year-old Mikey Williams. We saw how Colin trained in Laguna Beach. Now let's see how Dunk Star and NBA hopeful Mikey Williams does it in San Diego. I don't know what happened then. It was just kind of, I just kind of tried it and was able to do it. But I've been dunking consistently since like sixth grade. Yeah! Mikey Williams is a name to know. When LeBron James gets excited about something you're doing, it's a pretty big deal. He's more of a slasher. He's gonna go get it. He's basically a killer. He has good, good court vision. He needs to be the number one in the nation. All ages, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's a competitor, he likes to compete. He wants to look out for everybody else besides him because he knows he's going to get his eventually. He never leaves the gym. If you want to compare him to an NBA player, a little bit of LeBron and Kyrie and a Westbrook mentality. 
the way he plays is dominant. There's no stopping him. Oh my God! I'm Mikey, I'm 14, and I play basketball. I've just always been around basketball since I was born. Here we go, through the legs behind the back, through the legs behind the back. Been knowing Mikey since he was a baby. But I've been training him since he was in the fifth grade. I'm excited to see him where he is today. Let's do the other leg, here we go. The great coach, definitely. I know how hard I work, I know it's all gonna pay off. During the holidays, he's in the gym. During nighttime, he wants to be in the gym. Do two moves to attack, okay? We are working, come on. Good, right here, boom, read it. Good, shot, ah. Today we were working on attacking the basket, coming off the screen, ball handling, creating to the basket, reading the defense, also just getting some shots up. I've been playing with Mike for almost a year now. It's fun playing with him. We got two different type of games. He's more of bringing the ball up and getting it down to me. I'm more of like finishing it. I've seen a lot of my old friends. They grew up, but they just fell out of sports and stuff. Started getting into all the gang activities and stuff like that. So a lot of people don't make it. It's real easy to get distracted. But like me and Jazair, we got the right people around us. So we gonna keep pushing, represent for 619. The most important thing I always tell him is that he's young right now. He has to stay focused. Don't get distracted. That can happen easily. A lot of people ask me how do I get my bounce. A lot of it's genetics. My dad was able to jump. My mom was too. I wasn't dunking consistently till the end of sixth grade, and then Let's I don't go. know what happened. Then I did my first like windmill. Ah! Ah! Let's go! If I have tunnel vision. I mean, just me in my own lane. Is everything's moving forward? I'm not getting sidetracked. Not taking steps backward. Everything's just forward. Keep pushing. Right now we um just a little fishing spot we got over in uh, Liberty Station. A little hidden spots me and Mike come to every now and then. It's usually hit and miss. Catch some pretty big fish here. Sometimes sharks, corvina, some halibut. We like to come out here like once or twice a month sometimes. Every day is basketball for me since I'm homeschooled. So it's like I don't really come out and get to see this a lot. So I try to take advantage of it. Keeps you like a normal person, not like a robot. Get his mind off it, all the hectic traveling and practicing, working out. Just bring my hair, spend some one-on-one -on -one time with him. Keep, make sure his focus is where it needs to be. He doesn't like to be in the streets, party as much, so it's a good activity for him to do. Pros don't miss workouts to go to parties or go hang out with their friends and stuff like that. I mean, I really want to make it to the league, so I mean, I'm on my own lane. Everything I'm doing right now hasn't done anything bad for me, so I'm just going to keep doing it. That's been pretty exciting watching him grow. He's usually hanging around nothing but older people in his life, so he's very mature for his age. See him excel and grow as a player, it's been phenomenal. Wait, oh <laughs> Right here on my shoes. I'm gonna get into some heat, you feel me? My guy, Serato, did these ones right here. Got my initials. I got some Jordan 9s. Got the Bel Air 5s. Haven't seen a lot of people with these. So I'm winning on that one. I got Pinnacle ones. So I might have to pull these out tomorrow, actually. I just love shoes. A lot of hoopers definitely love shoes. I don't know one elite hooper that doesn't like shoes. It's just, you have to have them. Yeezys. First ones that came out, the Calabasas. Lab Force, I mean, these are just, I just love these shoes. These are probably my favorite shoes. Julie Hyper Dunks, that's with these. These one, these are probably my other favorite pair of shoes I have. I want to see them in the league for me. Everybody can't be a Kevin Durant or LeBron or Russell Westbrook, so. Affect the game in the best way you can. Don't get caught up in being the big star on the court. Because you never know what could happen. You could lose it at any second, but we keep, try to keep his head on straight. Make sure his school is up to par. And we see a big future for him. There's never really been a time where I wanted to give up, put my head down, or anything like that. It's just, I just love to play basketball. It's like what I love to do. There's no pressure on me or anything to make me feel like that. I am just have my head up and just get pushing. Up next, we leave Colin and Mikey on the West Coast to check out 10-year-old Peyton Kemp in Florida. Before the break, we saw how Colin Jin and Mikey Williams worked to be the best. 
Now let's see how Peyton Kemp trains in Florida. I'm just trying to think about winning and just trying to get the dub. I can shoot, pass, chase down blocks, dribble, split a double team, jelly. I got height, finishing around the rim, handles. I'm unbeatable one on one. He free spirit when he playing. He's a leader, he directs his teammates, and he's always vocal. It's like a coach on the floor. What's up? I'm Peyton, I'm 10 years old, and I play the sport of basketball. Uh, I had Peyton since he was first grade. A lot of times you see a lot of programs that let the kids run around, but we structure. So by the time they get to like six and seven, they doing pretty much a lot of stuff that their pros are doing. I like working out with him because he's a person that can trust me. Come on, no shortcuts, all right? Ain't no shortcuts. I try to show different things at Peyton to let him know, like, yo, right now we got the Kyrie's in our feet. Why we can't have the Peyton Kemp's in our feet? He's a coach that can make me better, take me to anywhere I want to go. It's never a routine, it's just more so creativity. Nothing's easy, you always gotta earn everything. All right, we call this a scholarship drill. The tennis ball thing, I, uh, I started maybe like, like, maybe like six years ago. The school we want. You want dick? You sure you want dick? Zion might go number one. You, you want dick? That's what we do it for. We do it for this free scholarship. Go get dick, hurry up! I throw the ball, I want to see how hungry he is to go get the ball. The harder he go, the more determined I know he is. Dick, there you go, dick right there, quick, hurry up, let it go. Come on, yeah, push. Yeah, harder than everybody, so he can always be at the top of the hill. Push, come on, come on. Come on. I always teach them to do read and react, watching the defender, quick. making a move. Hard. We always do live. I don't do a lot directly. I do straight up in them, so you can see somebody got me. Come on. Quick, quick, hard. Stay up. Two more. Come when you're trying to pull for it, he's trying to make it like a resistance. You got to find a way to turn it and get it out. Control his, control his balance. Come on, hard. Push. Quick, one more time. Throw it out. Quick, throw it out. Quick, throw it out. Quick, throw it out. My thing is, you always got to make it fun for him. So I do a lot of in-game stuff. In-game movement, in-game approach, in-game shooting. Everything is in-game. Dribble up, put the cone on the chair, four moves, go to the next chair, do five, hold the cone behind the back, switch hands and just land. It's actually kind of fun. He's the person that can help me improve my game in all aspects of it. There you go, good job. There you go. That's where it works. We did. He's always watching YouTube, always watching basketball, high school, college, anything. He's just always watching basketball. As you can see in my room, it's only basketball, nothing else. My cover's basketball, my laundry, hoodie hook is basketball, shoes are typically basketball shoes, my trash can is basketball. Here is all my favorite trophies. This was the game when I dropped almost 25, 30. This is the five foot trophy I won that uh, Kyrie Ross Strickland tournament. When I tell you, I got way too many medals. This tournament, we were run by Lee Church. We won this championship because we were just good. When we first started, we would go to the gym every day, every day. I wasn't gonna force it on him, that's what he wanted to do. I'm glad that he grew to love it. I just do the basics and he goes with his other trainers to do the, the high level stuff. This ball is a weight ball, so it usually helps with his hand speed. So when he uses this, it's harder for him to pound the ball. So then when he goes to the regular ball, it's light, so he's really pounding the ball. It's always fun to do some fun things with them and see them smile and laugh. I love it. I love it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah. You know how to get me out of my shell. What hand? Right. Oh. Oh, I made it. Yes. Oh, oh good. I played high school basketball as well as college basketball. I went to Arkansas State on that scholarship. I can't miss. P, let's go. Brick. Oh, she's going. Pack it up. That's game. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, give me some. Give me some. That's all right. Don't be no sore loser. 
there to balance, you know, because I don't want him to get burnt out. I don't want him to decide that, you know, he doesn't want to play no more because he's tired of doing it. So at the end of the day, he's 10 years old. He still has to be a kid. I like coming here because I can bounce on trampolines, play dad more, basketball, jump into some clothes, and do all types of stuff. It lets me do it. It makes me think about when he's come home. He excels, you know, on and off the court. It doesn't matter what it is. He wants to do well. The goal is to go to college. I'm trying to change it for my whole family. Be one of the first kids to make it big and get rich and stuff so I can move my family out of the struggle. I want him to have that mindset to just to keep working. So never settle for just for just being good. I mean, it's, it's, it's run for you to be great. He motivated. He motivated, and that's a blessing. That's something you can't teach of a kid that's already motivated. Come on, you want a handout? No. Come on, you sure? Go, push, go. I want to be better than Michael Jordan, better than Will Chamberlain, better than Jerry West. I want to be talked about in that conversation, being one of the greatest players of all time. Fast, up, soft. We saw three amazing athletes today. Lend your support and give them a follow. Today was one of many days of training for these future pros. Tomorrow, they'll be back at it again, working and training, because when you want to be the best, there are no days off.